G'day everyone, welcome back to Bunny Basics. I know it's been a really long time since my last video. So I thought I would, so I thought it was really about time that I made another video for you guys. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of an order that I have done along with a reintroduction to all of my pets and a bit of a, an overview of what's been going on. So you've already <laughs> got one getting in the way there. So I recently placed an order with Mosuki Bunny Shop and not very much stuff ordered, just a few things I needed and a couple extras, but you know, why not share it with you guys? So Mosuki Bunny Shop is an Australian store. They sell a wide variety of toys and treats and hay toppers and that sort of thing. that. So this is Musuki Herbs and Floral Mix. It has a mixture of rose petals, marigold, chamomile, lavender, dandelion, peppermint, nettle, plantain, hibiscus and parsley. So pretty wide array there. These sort of things I don't give on their own but I will add it in and mix it through their pellets a little bit and I don't feed very much very many pellets to my rabbits not even every day, but they'll get a tablespoon to share uh, every few days and I'll mix that through. Then we have, this is a toy, I think it's Pandemonium Parrot Toys sell through Mosuki Bunny Shop. And this is called the Shredalicious and I actually bought it for our parrot Dory. So that is the Shredalicious. Then we have some carrot and mint cookies. They are going to love those. They haven't had any treats for a really long time. We ran out quite some time ago. This is a card for Mosuki Bunny Shop. Mosuki actually stands for Momo, Sunny, Kisa, or Kiki and Lily. Momo, Sunny and Kiki, sorry and which is the names of the first three bunnies and then there's now Lily, Bubbles, Brownie, Mellow, Mellow and then Joelle the owner. So they are a fantastic shop. The last thing I bought is these Oxbow Garden Select adult rabbit food pellets. So I've never tried these pellets before but I thought it could be good to try on my guys rather than using their regular adult rabbit pellets. So we'll see how we go. This has more... That is not English. <laughs> I think this has more grass in it and then... Yeah, Timothy grass, oak grass, or orchid grass rather than just the Timothy that's in the regular one, I think. So giving that a go. So like I said, it's not a big order, just a few little things. We've got the Oxbow Garden Select Pellets, the Mosuki Carrot and Mint Cookies, the Mosuki Herb and Floral Mix, and then the Shredalicious Parrot Toy for Dory. But this is a parrot toy, it's made for parrots, but it could easily be given to rabbits as well, which is why Mosuki Bunny Shop sells it on their site. So I hope you've enjoyed this little mini haul. If you want to check out Musuki, go and do so. They often do fundraising for rescue group for rescue groups, which is really great. Otherwise, let's move on to the next part of the video. Now, just before I introduce you to all of my pets, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to my other channel, really. I started a new YouTube channel earlier this year. It is an art YouTube channel, as you can see from this little clip. So if you have any interest in drawing or painting videos, I mainly draw wildlife and pets because that's what I'm passionate about. Head over to my channel. It's called Brushes with Beck. There'll be a link in the 
cards and there'll be a link in the cards and also down in the description box below. So check that out if you're interested. Please subscribe or like or comment or any of those things. That'd be great. Now moving on and introducing you to the pets. So of course the first cab off the rank is the bunnies. So they live in this CNC cage with a playpen around it. We have little Luna down here. She is a mini lop mix. She has those gorgeous helicopter ears that just go whichever way they feel like going at the time, depending on how alert or how sleepy she is. Sometimes they're flopped right down. Sometimes one's flopped down and one's sticking out, but she's terribly cute. And this is Apollo. He is a New Zealand white mix. He's a little bit chubby at the moment, unfortunately. I haven't quite figured that out yet because they don't really get a lot of treats. They don't get many pellets. So I'm not sure what that's about. He just keeps weight on really easily. And I think that might be partly due to his breed mix because New Zealand's were bred originally for fur and for as meat rabbits so I suspect it might be partly more prone to it genetically but that's just a guess. So Apollo and Luna are I think about five and a half years old. I've had them for just over four years now. They are a bonded pair. I adopted them as a bonded pair and they are just adorable. I could spend you know they're they're really sweet, really loving. They love head rubs. Apollo is a big one for head rubs. He will come over and just stare at you longingly until you rub his head. Luna's more recently come more out of her shell with asking for, asking to be petted, which is really, really nice. But they groom each other and lounge together and absolutely beautiful pair of rabbits. Minimal health problems with them. Apollo did have a UTI earlier this year, but he recovered from that really well with medication. So that is the cute little bunnies. Next on the list is Dory. Dory is an eclectus parrot. As you can see she has some plucking issues. I've been working on those for years. They get worse, they get better. At the moment they are quite bad and I'm really trying to manage that better by rotating toy toys more frequently and giving her more foraging opportunities. Her cage is the one that I bought shortly after we got her. She was a stray bird. I'm actually looking to upgrade her cage in the next month or two to something about twice this size. So I'm really excited about that because that's going to be really great for her as well. So she does talk, but she's a bit of a squawker. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the cats. Now, Jasiri, if you've been on my channel for a long time, you have met she is just over three years old now. She is a blue Somali cat. She is extremely intelligent, very playful, and very manipulative, actually. She knows how to manipulate us like anything, but she is absolutely gorgeous. Just a wonderful, wonderful cat, this one. She's a bit of a mama's girl, too, which I admit I do like. And last but certainly not least is Jasper. Jasper is Jasiri's younger sister. So they have the same parents, just they're a year apart. Just That puts Jasper at just over two years old. She is very energetic and playful as well. But unlike Jasiri, Jasper is all about food. So she's very, very food motivated, which is cute and annoying at the same time. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks to all my new and old subscribers. Thanks for sticking around with this channel. I always did intend to get back to it. And now I have. I'm hoping to do about monthly uploads from now on. Depending on how that goes. But my main focus is my other art channel, Brushes with Beck. I upload to that every single week. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you around soon for another video. See ya.